Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a square hue manicure to share with you, and I'm going to be stamping this one with some gold polish. I started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone, and here is the square hue polish, P-H-R-A, and this is from my last box. I topped it off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run so it would dry. And I'm going to be using this You Are Beautiful plate number 19. I'm going to use this image on a couple of accent nails. I've got my Fabio Nail Scraper and my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper. And I'll be using the Maybelline Bold Gold from the Color Show. I didn't want to totally cover up the base color, so I was trying to go with something a little where it still left quite a bit of the image. I mean, quite a, quite a bit of the color from beneath the image to peek through. And sometimes you just never know how it's going to look until you actually get it on your nail. And there we go. And I'm going to do this to my ring finger and my middle finger. And that didn't pick up very good. We're going to have to try that one again. Just clean it off on my lint roller. Clean that plate. I always have trouble with images in the corner, and I've watched videos on it, and you know, sometimes I have good luck, and sometimes I don't. But that was a pretty good pickup. So I've got that on my ring and my middle finger, and I'm going to use another image from the same plate. Nope. Sorry. I thought I got it off the same plate. But this is the Messy Mansion number 20. I use this plate a lot. I only own three Messy Mansion plates and I love them. But I've never used this image right here. So I'm going to give it a give it a go this time. I don't know why I thought I was using the same plate. I'm going to put this image on my thumb and my pointer and my pinky. This one's working out pretty good for me, so I'm going to keep on rolling with it. I'm trying to figure out how I want to turn it. There we go. I like gold around my fingertips. <laughs> here we go for the last one. Pick that one up. And I forgot to turn it around, but that's okay. <laughs> it's one of those things that nobody else will notice but you. Got a little bit of cleaning up still to do. But we have got them all stamped. So I've done some cleanup. I'm going to dial y'all in a little bit. And we're going to top this one off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run. And that camera is not liking this shiny gold polish, I guess. Hang on, we'll get through this thumb and then we'll head on, take my hand away from it and it'll hopefully focus better. There we go. Yay. <clears throat> Change the lighting a little bit too. Maybe that'll help. But I really did like how this one turned out. I wore it for, I think, three days. Yeah, I think I wore this one for th three days. Maybe even more. <laughs> normally have like a three-day limit. And that one just kind of looks cracked. I like the design. And I'm capping my ends. Oops. 
very, very cool. And this technically isn't a St. Patrick's Day manicure. That's why I held off on it. Um, it probably could work. It's got the right colors going on, but we, we just saved it. So there you have it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. Here's my swatch photo. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.